What we have learned uh, is that we can do it. This is actually doable. the longest experiment ever done in a human. Um, so I think we are much ahead of what was the expectations uh, a couple of months ago. Today's uh, post-op day 53. The last um, 24 hour events mixed with some weekend events. Over the weekend we completed two sets of drip of uh, one year. Um, his vital signs, uh, there was a T-max recorded of 38. Okay. And that's any, any, any time. So I'm very, ex I'm very excited about the fact that we were able to push it this far without any significant major rejection event. What Mo has done by donating his body for research is allowed us to do the study. And that's a tremendous contribution to science. And Mo's family needs to be commended for allowing us to do this process. And so it's really important for us to handle uh, the transition from the end of the experiment to whatever else needs to happen after the conclusion really respectfully and carefully. I'd like to have a moment of silence to honor the life of Mr. Maurice Miller, the Mo, who has um, given us so much and contributed so much to our understanding of transplantation. So we did see a slight decrease in the urine output and a slight increase in the serum creatinine, which is a blood test that estimates kidney function. And I will say, though, that these changes were really subtle. Take it. I'm not sure if you're going to have a You want a ruler in there? Do you have a ruler? So that prompted us to sort of spring into action and begin certain anti rejection therapies that seem to have worked right away. We are not uh, afraid of seeing rejection. We, we want to be in the sweet spot where we can learn how the immune system responds to the pig organ because that is going to tell us how we can prevent rejection. Pushing through it the first time, and so it, it gets pale. The relevance of why we're doing this is because there are a lot of people that unfortunately die before having the opportunity of a second chance in life, and we need to do something about it. We need to change the course of history that hasn't changed in a very long time. It looks beautiful. It is uh, exactly the way normal kidneys look.